European train journeys have been romanticized in many novels, and even today we get a bit jealous of the luxury train experiences. Here to catch our train to Valencia, we're going back. I'll try to show you most of the ride from Madrid to Valencia. Making our way above ground to Puerta de Atocha, instead of going underground, which is dark and gloomy, we pick the sun. So many parts. I have to show you something. Ta -da. It's not only the largest train station in Spain, but it also houses an indoor botanical garden with over 7,000 plants. Where else have you seen a jungle inside the train station? Usually train stations are so depressing, dark and just gloomy. This one, it has this open structure where the light can shine through and you really feel like you're in nature. With all the trees, you can sit down on a bench, have your drink or just wait for your train for as many hours as you need to. I think it's really relaxing. extensive selection of shops check this out and little restaurants with bocadillos to tell you the truth I think actually the selection for food here it's much bigger look behind me much bigger than the airport Valencia Airport it needs a little more but here the train station it's so it's full with like good shops, good spots for food. So don't you worry, you won't leave hungry. So this is the tickets office right behind me, one of many. You can purchase your tickets online and it's great if you do it in advance. They have some sales, some offers, if you have enough time to buy your ticket. And then if you are closer to your travel date, they're usually a little more expensive. We use Omeo, it's a website where you can buy your tickets. I think it's pretty good because you can see different options, different travel times, it's very easy, it's in English. Uh, you can also buy bus tickets from there, just any type of transportation. And by the way, the security check, it's much easier, much lighter than an airport. So anytime you can, you can choose to travel with the train. Looking for number eight. This is five, six, so all the way there. The ducky train. Way starting a few days ago, masks are not mandatory. So you can wear masks or you can, but only on, on transportation, public transportation, inside trains and metro, you have to wear masks. So on your ticket, there is a area where it shows what your seat is, what your little uh, wagon is, the number, and it's displayed on the side of the train. confusing even though you see it on the back on the outside of the train you also see your card display the card number it's displayed right there at the beginning and the end of the card and yeah but it, it can get a little confusing with the with those numbers and check this out look how much like it's so so wide so spacious we're gonna do everything boom Looks like a coffee cup. That must be the that must be the cafeteria. So let, let's check it out. Hold on. Maybe on photo. Oh yeah. Coffee shop. Okay, let's enter the coffee shop. Menu, snacks, mix menu. Cool air, cool air coming from here. It is so comfortable, the fast speed train is really, really comfortable. Okay, let's check 
called the bathroom. It's it's pretty clean, but it's okay. Everything you need. Well, this is pretty good. It's spacious. It has soap. It has running water, toilet paper. What else do you want? The duration of the ride is 1 hour and 40 minutes. The train pierces through mountains with a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. Isn't it nice? It's green, it's vast, it's beautiful. There are beautiful hills, tunnels on the way, but when we were about two-thirds of the route, a spectacular view revealed itself, vivid green nature. Little did we know that this was Jose's del Cabriel Nature Reserve. This was eight, eight euro, not bad. Two chips, wine. It's pretty much the same cafeteria as the other non-high speed train. So I find it, it's all right for, uh, for train food. So if you're arriving from the States or somewhere, I know I tried the ride that is from the airport, the transfer from the airport to the train station. Honestly, it's not worth unless you're arriving on Terminal 4. Otherwise, you have to take this bus that takes you to Terminal 4 because we arrived on Terminal 1. So you have to take a bus, take you to Terminal 4. And it's almost like a 15 minutes ride. And then you have to take Renfe, it's about a three euro something, 310 per person. It's not bad, but it felt like the ride was very slow. Not worth, not worth unless you're arriving on Terminal 4, you want to save some money, better grab a taxi. Anyway, welcome to Valencia. We're back here. The train ride was great, comfortable, an hour and 45, 50 minutes or so. Beautiful weather here. 